Hello everyone, welcome to From the Star Wars Home Video Library. I'm your host, Nathan P. Butler. Yes, if you're watching this in the playlist, yet another background is behind us at this point. This is episode number 16.2. It is a very quick supplement to episode number 16.1, which was a supplement to 16 by itself. 16 point nothing, right? 16.0. Back in 16.0, we took a look at the VHS releases of The Phantom Menace and saw that special widescreen video collector's edition that had the widescreen version plus some extra goodies. We took a look at the full screen release, which is just in a regular sized box. And in 16.1, we took a look at this. This is a clamshell case version of The Phantom Menace available through Toys R Us, but available in somewhat of an odd way. I had not had this in my collection at the time of episode 16 being recorded back in 2013. In 2015, around the middle of the year, I got my hands on it, did an episode on it, but what I showed you, in essence, was not really the full picture. It was sort of the picture, but there's a little more to it than what I was able to show you at the time, because this was the original copy I was able to pick up. It had the regular full-screen copy of Phantom Menace inside it, and then had your clamshell case with essentially identical art just done in that gold clamshell for those who wanted to pick it up this way through Toys R Us. I finally managed to get my hands on an unopened version of what you could get at Toys R Us, and yes, since then, I have opened it to check it out, but now I can show you a little more specifically what people who went to Toys R Us were able to get. The way it worked was that you would put in an order for the film at Toys R Us, and the film itself was the full-screen version. There's nothing different about this. This is the 2000 full-screen version of The Phantom Menace, right down to every detail, label, and everything. But wrapped in shrink wrap, you'd also get that special case, that clamshell case. Now, the case came empty. The idea was that you would take this and put it inside. Whoever I got my original copy from apparently got rid of the cardboard case entirely and just sat the VHS tape inside it. Also, you notice a difference between these two copies. There is a lenticular cover that is easy to lose that is also part of it. So you pick this thing up, and you have a lenticular version of that cover on the inside there that isn't adhered or anything. That can just be slipped right out, this little art-type piece here, and underneath is that regular cover, which is what I was able to show you on that previous copy. So it's a little bit more to that release than I was able to show you at the time. Yes, you still got the regular full screen cover to put on the tape to put into the clamshell. And yes, the clamshell did have that special lenticular cover, but it wasn't adhered or anything. So in the case of at least the one that I had and probably many other cases, that lenticular bit was gone and people were just using it with a standard cover. I want to show that to you for a little bit of clarity here uh, before you move on throughout the playlist, just in case you're looking for that out there to add to your home video collection as well. As always, thank you for watching. May the Force be with the home video viewers.